Iniciamos la cobertura del LTE Summit, Latin American Summit, que se está celebrando en la ciudad de Río de Janeiro esta semana. Eh, venimos eh, volando de arriba abajo, como, como ven, eh, en diferentes eventos de la industria. Esta vez toca el LTE, un evento de, de gran importancia e interés por el tema que se trata. Y vamos a iniciar esta ronda de, de entrevistas, que esperemos tener un montón de, de personajes durante este evento, con Mohamed Makur, que es de Huawei, que es una empresa que tienen en este evento un stand muy grande, eh, con mucha presencia, y vamos a intentar que nos explique un poco por qué el énfasis que están teniendo eh, con este tema. Vamos a cambiar al inglés para hablar con, con Mohamed. Mohamed, welcome to uh, Telesemana. Thank you. So I was telling the audience that, well, this is the first video of, of the coverage, mm -hmm. and actually I was telling them that uh, you guys have a very large booth at this show. Yes. So I'm assuming that you want to tell something to the Latin American market sure. that perhaps others, I'm not trying to say, as, as we're seeing, the booths are yeah. significantly smaller. Sure. Um, well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, uh, I think what, what we're trying to say is LTE is here. And uh, it's a mature technology. Uh, we have global deployment, more than 60 commercial contracts, uh, 28 life networks. So uh, what we're showing here is very simple. It's an end-to-end -end live LTE demo. Mm -hmm. So basically, you will see devices are there, uh, RAN is there, core network is there. So there is nothing missing. So I think I think the only thing that that needs to be worked out in this region is the spectrum. Mm -hmm. So the spectrum there, we're willing to help all of our existing customers and potential customers uh, to get into LTE era, which is basically the mobile broadband era. Okay. Now you have a truck also uh, we do. outside the hotel yeah. where you're having the whole uh, implementation. So to prove sure. that this is not just a fake uh, yeah. <laughs> installation, but it's a, a real, a real installation. Uh, yeah. so, so again, going back to the the, uh, the notion of your Huawei and you're very well known in Latin America, but obviously the market for infrastructure is very tough these days. Uh, there's a lot of competition, and it seems that you're making kind of a significant yeah. move here towards the region. Yeah. Well. Uh, well, it's very tough, but I think I think Huawei has had uh, very uh, extraordinary success, uh, especially last year. Uh, it's it's uh, I think the major uh, the major factor for that is uh, we have our infrastructure, which is helping our customers in protecting their investment. Mm -hmm. So basically, when we provide today's technology or today's products, these products are future proof. So basically, if you want to do LTE, you want to do 3G, HS Plus, it's fine. So we give you today's technology, today's product. You can use it for future technology. It's, for example, it's ready for 100% uh, smartphone penetration because that's what we anticipate. Okay. So we anticipate uh, a huge growth, especially in this region. If you talk about, for example, uh, 20, uh, 2014 FIFA World Cup, talk about 2016 Olympics. I mean huge traffic is going to come to this region and 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 they need to act so 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 i think we we don't have these challenges as a matter of fact we see a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. uh, especially in this region uh, so we're ready you know we're all in for this market so <laughs> okay you mentioned something interesting which is spectrum yes and obviously operators are going to be dependent on getting that spectrum Absolutely. what is your view in terms of that developing and obviously Brazil is going to be probably ahead of the game sure. uh, because of what you said, uh, the, mm -hmm. the, the uh, World Cup and the Olympics. Mm -hmm. But in general, Latin America, how do you see that barrier of the spectrum being overcome in, in the future? Well, it's it, it's not a barrier. I mean, I mean, l let's first uh, uh, let me first say that spectrum fragmentation is a global problem. Mm -hmm. It is not just a problem in Latin America. So uh, you have, for example, 700. You talk about 700. You have lower band. You have upper band. You have uh, a you know a block, B block, C block. I mean, you have a lot of things. And then you have 2.6. And you have European bands, US bands. So it's it's a wholly fragmented. So one of the things we do in order to mitigate this kind of effect is to work on multi-band products. This mm -hmm. is number one. Uh, our single RAN is, is really technology agnostic and also uh, uh, frequency agnostic. So basically, if you, if you want to overlay the 2.6 uh, LTE TDD on top of what you have, FDD, you it's, do it. it's doable. Okay. It's doable. And, 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 and then you will, uh, you will combat this kind of fragmentation. So for Latin America, I see a lot of opportunities in 700. 
I see a lot of opportunities in 2.6, mm -hmm. both TDD and FDD. TDD yeah. So it's, uh, that's really great opportunities coming. Actually, probably TDD is the big surprise, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think if uh, a few years back we thought that TDD was going yes, to be yes, such yes, an important yes, uh, yes, spectrum yes. ban, and it seems that LT is opening, opening up the door. Yeah, because I think, uh, number one, we have to thank the technology. LTE harmonized TDD and FDD. This mm -hmm. is number one. Um, number two, when it comes to DDD, a lot of advantage there because you have the flexibility of up and down. You don't have to have semi, I mean, um, uh, similarity between the two links, uh, which changes these days, by the way, right? Because we used to have downlink as only the limiting factor, right? Yeah. Now, uplink is also, you have your camcorder, you're sitting in a soccer you game, you're shooting IDEV video, you want to upload it right away. Yeah. So uplink is also important. So very TDD important. is very important. Um, uh, and uh, uh, for us also, it is very mature because we deployed, for example, the, 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 the largest TDD LTE network in SoftBank in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, we also deployed uh, the first 3.5 uh, gigahertz network in UK, which I think is going to be used uh, uh, for the London Olympic mm -hmm. Games. So uh, TDD makes sense. Uh, if, if, if the, the spectrum that the operator owns uh, facilitate that. Okay, going back to your booth, because okay. you're having a bunch of, I mean, people cannot see it, but behind us sure. we see the booth. And not, it's not only, LTE is not only about the run, the radio access network, but you have the core and other elements. Are you showing here the full end-to-end -end capability of your uh, LTE portfolio yes. or just some of the... Uh, uh, no, well actually, well actually, as I said earlier, we have, uh, uh, first of all, we have the official live demo, the LTE Informa official live demo. So basically, it's an end-to-end. -end. So it has terminals, uh, the radio access, which is a RAN. Mm -hmm. uh, it has the EPC part. Mm -hmm. It even has the IMS part, because what we're doing here, we're even showing voice over LTE. So although, Voice over LTE is not really mature these days because, you know... It, it perhaps not needed but because I, we're well going to be using I, fallback. I, 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 I agree, time, I it is not needed, but we have to get back to the principle, which is the equipment has to support, the, 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 the feature has yeah. to be ready. Yeah. So we're showing that. Uh, we're showing a nice application because the thing is, LTE can give you the pipe. But the innovations and, 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 and the core and the IMS is the way to monetize the pipe. Yeah. So we're showing here nice uh, uh, 3D uh, video. We're showing uh, we're showing uh, streaming. We're showing high throughput. So you think LT is going to push IMS a little bit farther into the operator I, network? I, I, I think not just because of Volte, but because of other. Yeah, Volte is one thing, and and different applications, right? I mean, we're showing even in our truck the SDB. You know, so so it's. Uh, it's a fully end-to-end uh, -end LTE network backed up by our equipment here in the booth and also we have our demo truck in which we're showing that the reality. So the reality, these are the radios, these are the equipment uh, for our customers to take a look and see and, and actually uh, get relieved that uh, the, the, their investment is going to get paid off, you know, because things are mature. So we've seen that uh, Huawei has a large booth, hit, as I was saying at the beginning. And uh, my question would be if you are showing an end-to-end -end solution or just some components of the LTE architecture. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that, that's a very good question. No, we're, we're actually showing the whole thing end-to-end -end, uh, because, remember, LTE is not just about the RAN. LTE is about the whole ecosystem. So, so we're showing number one terminals, which is really important. Uh, uh, you have to have smartphone, you have to have USB dongles, you have to have full suite of terminals. We're also showing the base station. Uh, that can work TDD and also it can work FDD, multi-mode. We're showing uh, the EPC part, which is a core part of LTE, uh, including IMS, uh, because uh, I, 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 IMS uh, is important for us uh, because we're showing a VoIP over LTE, mm -hmm. uh, although it is not the, the, the mainstream uh, now application for voice, but we, we believe that the network or the equipment should be ready. We're showing... Uh, and, and as, again, as I was saying, uh, so that, that means you're thinking that IMS is going to get a push because of LTE, uh, not just because of Volte, but for other reasons. I, 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 would, I would agree 100% with you. You know, IMS is important uh, because, you know, remember LTE would give you the pipe again, uh, but you need to monetize, you need to have different services, mm -hmm. uh, different applications, and IMS will play a vital part in there. Um, and, and we have nice demos actually here also. We have 3D uh, video demo, we have streaming, we have uh, 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 a lot of stuff. So uh, 
It's uh, intent. A complete solution. Complete solution. Okay, so my final question is kind of, kind of a joke, and, and it's to know what happens with uh, the trucks that you guys have. I don't know how many trucks do you have. Yeah, okay. we have we have a truck here. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have a truck here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. So you have a truck here outside, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you are showing actually part of this demo to show that this is not fake. That actually <laughs> you have a real implementation. Sure, sure. Uh, so tell us how many trucks do you guys have? And and so so that uh, was that was the the, the, the thing. Truck I, I wanted to give you kind of uh, uh, the main um, uh, no, news for us because we're changing our business now. We're okay. a trucking company. <laughs> no, just, no, no. Uh, yeah, well, almost, almost. No, actually, you have a truck here, you're right, and we have actually a truck in US, which is my home uh, uh, region, my home department okay. there, and we do have trucks in, uh, in, 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 in our headquarters. I believe we have more than 20 trucks. And, and, and so you're close to be a yeah, UPS kind of company? Kind of, well, I, no, I think, yeah, I, all <laughs> jokes aside, yeah. I think there is a necessity for that. Uh, although we have uh, our mainstream products, uh, that can serve all regions, but I think every region has its own requirements in terms of the spectrum, in terms of the product, sellable products, mm -hmm. sellable solutions. So uh, one of our company's strategy is to really put the region business up front and uh, I'm not gonna say customize because I hate this word. Optimize our product or retune our products for, for that specific region. That's why you will see in, in US or in uh, past Asia Pacific or North uh, Africa or even in Europe, there are different trucks with different, different uh, solutions. And one of them is here, and I'm glad you mentioned it. Thank you. Okay, that's no, pretty, pretty good. I mean, it's pretty everywhere <laughs> we go. Always we mention about the how Huawei truck, so it's gonna be kind of a brand name at the end of the day. Uh, uh, Huawei truck. Yeah, we're going to choose that. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. All right. Well, Mohamed, thank you so much for well, being here. Thank us. you. I have to say I enjoyed it. Likewise. Okay, Likewise. thanks. Thank, thank you. you.